All right, eager students, this is Earth Science Exploration 1.2, common science terminology, which happens to be frequently misunderstood. Let's start, let's start off with the biggie here, and that's theory. All right, I don't think there's a term in science that is more misunderstood than theory. What it is, it is a thoroughly tested explanation for something happening in nature. All right, I want to emphasize the tested part. That is, a theory is not what it is frequently misunderstood to be, which is opinion or hunch. Okay, now in sort of common tongue, theory really kind of means opinion. Like, hey, I have this theory on this thing. Okay, and when somebody says that, you know that really what you're hearing is an opinion. But it's totally different in science. Theory in science is not an opinion. It is, hey... There's this thing we've tested again and again and again, and it turns out to be a pretty good explanation for things, okay? Now, one of the nice things about theories is that they can be used to make predictions. For example, gravity is a theory, and try to stay away from going, it's only a theory. Now, we've tested gravity, and it's there, right? So, for example, we can use it to make a prediction. If I hold a bowling ball up above my head and let it go, I can predict that that bowling ball is going to smash me in the head. Okay, in science we also have laws, and a law is just some rule of nature that we have sort of discovered. We didn't write the law, nature made it up. All right, now this is often confused with legal rules, okay? So in scientific laws, we cannot change them. Nature made them, and they are the way they are. In legal rules or legal laws, people wrote them, and we can change them. So a law in science, we can't do anything about it. All we can do is report on it. Another term that's frequently mis misunderstood in science is principle, okay? A principle is a fundamental truth, and it explains something happening in nature. For example, Bernoulli's principle explains how flight is possible, okay? It's an explanation, and it's based on a law. Now, this is often confused with, like, a moral rule or belief, because you'll hear people say, well, I have my principles, which really means they have their own personal moral rules, uh, and, and that those are actually ch subject to change. Scientific principles are not. Next we have the term phenomenon, which is just sort of any natural event that seems unusual that we see, uh, and we usually want to develop an explanation for said phenomenon. Okay, That's not to be confused with an impressive or talented person. You'll often hear people say, well, he's a phenomenal basketball player, or she's an, a phenomenal sprinter. It's, it's a different thing. And finally, we have a frequently misunderstood term, technology. Technology is just where we use science to meet human needs and improve our lives. It's not the same thing as science. Science is not necessarily trying to meet human needs or improve anybody's life or build a new tool. It's really just trying to explain, trying to understand. And science can be done for science sake. When we have technology, we're actually using that science and we're applying it to people uh, or things that people find important. So it is often confused with science, not the same thing. You can have science without technology. You can't really have technology without science. All right, join us next time for 1.3, Observations, Inferences, and Predictions.